Hello everyone, it is Courtney here at Scrapbook and Memories with Techniques at Two. So we've been checking in lots of great new products. Um, we've been kind of playing with new products. Let me just kind of situate my camera while we're going here. There we go. Kind of situate and get us all on the screen. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? So we've been um, checking in boxes like crazy. We have been shipping boxes like crazy. So thank you everybody for all the call-ins. Thank you for all the online orders. Um, we are shipping those out daily. So thank you, thank you, thank you um, from the bottom of our hearts because that's the only way we're gonna make it through this craziness is with all your guys' love and support. And we are offering curbside pickups, so Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 to 4, we're offering that. And let's show you some of the new products that have come in. So we've got in new from Sue Wilson, some more new dies. Um, we've got this one, which is an edger die, so it cuts out on the edge of your card. I love this little mouse. It's called Harvest Mouse Edger. Then we also have this little mouse sitting on a little flower, and then I love the little wings that the mouse has. This one is called Winged Mouse Edger. And then we've got the Garden Mouse Edger that has the cute little butterflies and flowers. So everything that we're showing you and everything we have is available on our website. If you go here, www.scrapbook in memories.net you can check out and order all of our new long <clears throat> products online for curbside pickup or shipping so some other new things that we got in and i'm really excited about these because i know we have a lot of bee fans out there so this one's called beehive buzz it's new from pink ink designs and it's different for them so they are now putting dyes with some of their stamps so let me flip it over so you can see it so there's the little let me flip it sideways there's the die or stamp it's going to be one large stamp and then it has these separate stamps and then it has all these little dies that are going to match up with these so you could kind of pop them and do 3ds and just glue their little bellies down that way it looks like their wings are flying so that's really cute then they did one it's called moth legends kind of the same thing it's going to have your big kind of card front moth and then it's going to have all the little dies that are going to match and coordinate and look at those prices $22.99 for a stamp and die set that is crazy 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 affordable when they first told me the price I said okay that's my price what does it sell for and they're like $22.99 yeah I know that's my price what does it retail for and they're like no $22.99 I'm like that's crazy talk for a stamp and die set so great great deals on these this one is the little seahorse with some wings and then it's gonna have the matching die with it and it says you me and the sea and this set is called flight of fantasy so three different ones from that those are really cool and then something else that we've had um, a lot of requests for so we got these in are the star forms a lot of you know them as peelers or peel off or peel stickers um, lots of girls have seen them in videos lately where they're using Copic markers and coloring them or just borders and things. So we got a big shipment of these in. Um, if you're looking for them on our website, they'll be under star form on the website. So we've got this one. It has dragonflies on it. Look how cool that is. Love it. We have happy birthday in silver. So these are just a really fine line peeler you just peel them off and stick them to your cards and they make a great little sentiment we have with sympathy in silver and in black it's easier to see the black ones then we have let me put them together these are kind of hard to see but they're little circles that come in a strip so one of these has each one of these little circles that you see going across here is a sticker. So there are tons of little strips of stickers on there. These will last you forever. And they're really cute just to run on a card as a border or run it around an embellishment. And it gives you that little foil look without having to actually die cut it. Just peel and stick. 
Um, then we have lines. So these are just a thick kind of line. And again, each one of these is a peel off sticker for a border. We've got those in silver and in gold. Then we have them in glitter borders. These are kind of out of order. We have this one. Um, these are both called translucent. So they're kind of more of an iridescent. This one has silver border. This one has a gold border. So we have a gold border and a silver border on translucent. Oh, these are all out of order. Sorry, girls. We have With Sympathy in silver and gold. There's Happy Birthday in gold and black. Thank You in gold, silver, and black. And then these I like because these are, it's hard to see, they're individual little circle stickers. So each one of these is an individual little circle. Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? We are playing with some new goodies today, kind of showing you what's coming in. So these are great because I thought these would be for the center of flowers, or you could use them as little rhinestones or little gems. We've got them in translucent with a silver border or a gold border. Then we have black with a silver border, and then we have silver with a gold border and gold with a silver border. Ooh, that's kind of a crisscross. So cool peel off stickers on those. I have foil all over the place. So if you were here for yesterday's demo, I'm still finding foil that I did not clean up. I have a tendency not to clean up my mess. I just kind of get up and move when I'm done and that's what we've been doing. So today we are playing with these fun guys and we currently have, did I say 10? Nine. Nine of the 12 colors in stock. The other ones I think are arriving either today or tomorrow. They're on the truck. Um, so these are the Distress Embossing Glazes. Um, they're a little misleading and they're misleading when I first saw them too. Um, Glaze. When I think of the word glaze, I'm thinking of something that's like a paste that you are going to run with a palette knife through a stencil. They are actually an embossing powder. So I think why they call it, so they call them embossing glazes because it's an embossing powder, but I think they also call it glaze because it is a translucent colored powder. So a lot of the embossing powders out there on the market right now are kind of more opaque. So if it's white, it's white, but it doesn't really see through. So these are translucent, so you can see through them. So it's basically kind of looks similar to if you used a colored stamp, but with clear embossing powder, but it has much, much more rich color to it than if you did that. So um, loving that. Hi, Cinda. Hi, Louise. And the colors we have right now are Vintage Photo. Probably see them better there on the bottom. Um, Rusty Hinge, Peeled Paint, Tattered Rose, Hickory Smoke, Antique Linen, Cracked Pistachio, Fossilized Amber, and Broken China. These are all up on our website right now, and as soon as we get the other three colors in, either today or tomorrow, we will get those up on the website too. Another product that Tim has been using with these is the Distress Embossing Dabber, and it is clear. So the embossing dabber has a dabber top on it, just like the stains did. And what you do is you can dab it onto your stamp or whatever surface you're working on, and it adds a lot of that clear sticky so you, your powders will stick to it and you can cover a big surface fast. We just got these in stock and after pulling everybody's orders, this is the last dabber we have. Ken just notified me that we are down to the last dabber. So jump on the website if you want it, girls. Um, so we got the daubers, and then we've got the glazes. So who has played with these glazes yet? Has anybody played with them? I know you girls have been buying them. 
Um, and I want to do a video on them because so many people have the question of, do I have to heat set it? Do I have to use a gun? How do I use them if it's a glaze? It's not similar to what Seth Apter has that we're calling the ice that comes in the little pouch that you squeeze it out and you smear it with a palette knife. Um, his are a translucent color too, but these are gonna be more of an embossing powder. And I literally, 10 minutes, I was like, oh crap, it's two o'clock in 10 minutes and I haven't figured out my technique yet. What are we gonna play with? I had my powder sitting right here and I thought, mm, I haven't played with it yet. So let's pull it out and see what happens. Oh my MG, if I have more than 10 minutes to play with this, um, I, I know I'm gonna love it so much because I only played with it for 10 minutes and I'm like, oh my God, I love what I just made. Um, I think it was like a happy accident of what if, what will happen if I do this, this, and this, and I am in love with it. So I'll show you what experiment I did. I kind of basically just looked on my table of what is laying around me now let's throw it on and see what sticks and it stuck and I really liked it so um, let me show you what we got so let me clear all this off the area so with this what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a stamp and this stamp is um, one of the new ones which is now my new favorite because it looks beautiful stamped this one is called Baroque and it's got two really nice flourishes in here. And remember with these stamps, you don't have to use the whole piece. You can use bits and pieces of it. I also like this one here that's called the Eclectic Edges that has all of these are individual ones. And I think these are going to do really cool borders on your cards and stuff. So those are the two stamps that we're kind of playing with. I'm going to grab a white piece of paper here. And I can't really see where I originally had that. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Yep, right there looks good. I'm going to fasten my paper down with my magnet so it doesn't move. And we're gonna apply, I'm gonna apply Versamark because since we only had one embossing dauber left, I didn't wanna open and demo the one that we had left. I was gonna leave it for you girls. So you're welcome. Um, I'll get one in the next shipment. So we've got that. Now we're going to stamp that image. Since it's Versamark or your embossing dabbers, it's going to be clear. So you're not going to see it right away. You're just going to have a clear piece. So let me move that out of the way. I'm just going to use a piece of paper here and I'm going to dump my embossing glazes on. I'm putting my lid back on because I have a tendency to spill my glitters and powders that don't get recapped. Okay, so there's that beautiful, isn't that pretty? That beautiful image. So this color we're using is called Vintage Photo. So now we're just going to heat it up. As you heat it, you will see that it's going to turn translucent. So it's going to give it kind of that glossy finish to it. And can you kind of see it starting to turn glossy? So as it turns glossy, then you know you're good and you just go to your next area and you just kind of keep moving it around. Since it is embossing powder, it dries really quick so you don't have to wait forever like you do with the paste. Okay, so I'm gonna, it's done embossing. Now I'm just going to make it really hot here and I'm going to show you the oops that I discovered. So it's really hot. While it's hot, I'm going to lay this piece of foil on top and I'm just going to press it down. The foil that I'm using are these right here. So these are from WOW. They're called Fab Foils. It's just a sheet. Um, we have them in different colors. There's violet, silver, dark blue, ice blue, red, blush, teal, pink, I love it so much I have every color, purple, copper, spearmint, white, turquoise, and green. So the foil is going to stick to wherever that was hot. So, and I'm gonna do it a couple times because you can't really see it can you kind of see the silvering in there? 
Oh, there's so much glare in there, it's kind of hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up other portions of it. So I just kind of heat up a bit and piece. So what it's gonna do is add a little bit of foiling here and there. It's not gonna be solid on the image. We just want it in bits and pieces to kind of add a little bit of that. Oh, I'm telling you girls, this is pretty. I don't always pat myself on the back, but right now I really want to. As my husband's shaking his head, he could come pat me on the back, right? <laughs> Okay, now look at that. Oh, now you can really see it. Can you see that silver foiling? Oh, look at that. So that silver foiling stuck wherever that was. But let's show you the this by itself. This is just the distress glaze without anything on it. So it has that color to it and it has the shimmer and now I stuck the foiling because the foiling will stick to anything it's hot and it's stuck on there. Um, I know everybody's gonna ask, will this technique work, work with other foils? I don't know. I only know that it will work with the WOW foils. The WOW foils are very thin and it has a very thin backing on them so it releases really easy. Um, can't tell you if other foils will or will not work. So. I know they're not all treated equally, but isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rub it really good to make sure everything's stuck on there because now what I'm gonna do, I'm like, that's pretty, but let's add some more to it. So I'm going to swap this one out with one I started playing with. So now I'm gonna take my oxide pads and I'm gonna take my brushes, I love, 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 if you have, don't know, my Tailored Expressions Blending Brushes. They are fabulous. We're just gonna pick up some ink, and I'm gonna go in here now and smear some oxide inks on here. And because the paste, not the paste, the embossing glaze is a powder and it's underneath it is going to resist all this color that I'm adding to it. There is just something about turquoise and brown that just, oh, I love. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I did discover um, that while I like this, I thought, oh, it covered up a little of the brown. I need to expose that again. So I'm gonna take a baby wipe and I am just going to lightly rub the baby wipe on top. So that's going to take the color, it's gonna take that oxide off of the foil and it's gonna take it off of those distress glazes. And let me tell you girls, I don't know if the camera picks this up, but that is like the most flippin' awesome thing I've ever seen. Can you see all the different shading in there on that brown? That Distress Glaze was one color. And can you see how it has picked up like three different colors in there now? It has like that different shading and the different tones of light and dark depending on how thick I put that embossing powder on there. Yeah. And then it has that foil silver in there. I just want to go home and like do this in every color now and add it to everything because I love, love, love how it picked up that three different layers. So this stamp we we're using, a couple of you girls are asking, is this one right here. It's called Baroque CMS 400. It's one of the new ones from Stampers Anonymous and I just use this top like portion right here. Remember when you use your stamps, you don't have to use your entire stamp. Um, some of you girls are signed in on late. We will repost this. So if you ever miss our videos, you can always catch them on the replay. We'll repost so you can watch them again. And then this one here, Eclectric Edges. Um, I think this will be very similar to and kind of give you that really good background. And so what we used were the Distress Glazes, which come in 12 different colors, but we currently have 12, 
or sorry, nine of the 12. The brain is not working today, girls, I'm telling you. I'm like, squirrel, I'm on to like the next four tasks that I gotta get in today. Um, so that's what we use. We use the Distress Glazes. The one I used on this sample is Vintage Photo. I just used it with a clear ink, or you can use the embossing dabber. And then I put oxides over the top of it in the teal. And then I did the Wow Foils, which we have in a bunch of different colors, um, over the top of it. And the cool thing about the foils is you can kind of see... Let me put something behind it. You can see all the voids in there. This foil is still good. You can just keep using bits and parts and sections of it until all that good foil is gone. Isn't that cool? Oh, hi, Tiffany. Okay, so Tiffany just said she used to be soap operas that moms watch during the day. Now it's techniques at two. Her girls love tuning in too. I love it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for everybody's support. Um, I hope you like the videos that we've been doing. I try to bring you something new each day to play with. And I absolutely love this technique that I just kind of happy accident played with today. And now I cannot wait to go home tonight and play with it with the other colors and see what happens. So there's it on the blue. And then here's what it looks like because I'm just going to leave that one white. I think it looks beautiful on there. And again, can you see that silver foiling? It just kind of sticks wherever that was still hot. So um, this was so much fun. I loved it. And I hope you girls love it too. And we will see you again tomorrow at 2 unless anybody has any questions. Does anybody have any questions before we sign off? Um, everything is available up on our website now. Here's our website you can go to. You can um, schedule a curbside pickup or we are happy to ship orders to you and take them down to the post office. Our next Mystery Monday will be on Monday at 2 o'clock and we will be showing you the contents of this box that is going to be valued at over a hundred dollars. Yes, Angela, I was going to do that, but I didn't have time. I want to do a little splotch of each one so we can see what the colors look like um, on a piece of paper so we can see what the true is. Because you can't always get the true until they're melted, but they're pretty close because this one is the one I use. That's the vintage photo. Shows up a little bit lighter, but yes, I do need to do some splotches of those. Um, we did do some splotches of all the stickles glitter gels is that yesterday nope day before yesterday um so we do have that from the video too so you can watch those um i do not know what the M mystery monday's box is going to cost yet because um we're still working on it but it's going to be over a hundred dollar value and we will announce all of that on monday at two so you will have to tune in on monday so thank you, everybody. Hope you have a fabulous day, and we will see you tomorrow at 2. Bye-bye.